Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. Uh, so thrilled that you're here today. Uh, I am going to do a four card spread from March 1st through the 15th, 2018. We'll cover the past, now, future, and then, of course, the outcome. Keep in mind, guys, I, I'm super simple in my layouts. What I do go get a little deeper into is the meaning. And that way, you can dig inside you and really push forward on what it is that you need to do. Uh, every channel that you might come across in terms of maybe an oracle reader of some sort might have a different philosophy. Um, I like to keep things really simple and then dig down deep and then to work on overcoming those things. Uh, at least at this particular time, you know, things may change down the line, but uh, I still will keep things simple. <laughs> uh, and then just get deeper into the four cards themselves. Um, not one philosophy is right. It just depends on who you like, right? So if you are a current subscriber, thanks for being here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, we'll cover the past, now, future, and then the final outcome, like I said. And this will be using, I'm using the uh, Journey cards by Alana Fairchild and uh, Richard Cohen. I'm also, uh, Russellini is actually the artist on these cards. Amazing artist based out of Southern California. He's fabulous. Uh, he's, an, he's a fusion artist. So uh, these interpretations are a little bit different, but love to share these with you. And then I'm going to pull some uh, other cards at the very, very end. Uh, last two weeks, I had used the Soul Journey cards. Uh, but what we're going to do is to pull the uh, Soul Oracle cards. Okay. So uh, super excited to do that. So uh, if this does resonate with you, please like and subscribe. Note your comments. You guys know that I'm active. I'm super active. <laughs> um, and then also check out our Facebook page. Go to our Facebook page, uh, The Guided Intuitive, and click the button to join the group. And um, we'd love to have you because we're taking requests now in a closed group. Um, however, uh, later on down the line, uh, it's going to be a lot limited. So you could actually be graduate in. So be super cool. So thanks, you guys, for being here. And let's get started. This is in your past position. So let's take a look at this. And the first card here, Virgo, is acceptance. Look at this. This is beautiful. The first thing that pops out to me right now is that you've got a acceptance. It's almost like a gentleman is on his knees and he is, uh, you know, asking uh, the hand of the, you know, his beloved. And uh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What I love about this is if you look right in the back, you see, the divine is overlooking this union. It's kind of accepting this and blessing it, uh, you know, saying that they are, they gratefully look at this uh, with joy and love. And look at this light that's shining way up on top. So anyway, I had to, this is so beautiful. Um, one thing that I do want to point out first before we get more deeper into the card is that this is a 55. That reduces to a 10 to a 1. 1 is about individuality. It is about, you know, uh, attaining. It is about uh, initiating action and kind of pioneering. Um, so when we talk about this acceptance, this is a message that this card wants to deliver to you to saying that you are accepted just as you are, okay? And you are accepted by the divine just as you are. Now, this might be, uh, you know, a, a, a sacred union where someone accepts you as you are or that you truly are accepting you as you are, okay? Take it as it resonates. Now, there's nothing to change. This card wants you wants to remind you to just be. And so it's saying that you've made an offering, you've whether, whether it's a prayer, a sacrifice of an of a, a some sort of attachment and uh you know perhaps a giving of a desire uh to be of service or to make a contribution to the world and your offer is joyfully being transformed into the seeds of how this can best be. And it's saying that your next step is about to begin. Okay. So whether this is a relationship with you or someone else, um, this wants to bring that up. And, you know, my, my readings are general. And this is for sun, moon, moon and rising Virgos. Um, but of course, you have another sign in your moon and rising. Please be sure to check those videos as they come out. But this is specifically saying that, you know, if you want to do something and uh, to be of greater service for the greater good of this world, this is here to tell you that 
the divine has gratefully accepted this and know this and be at peace with this. Okay. So this is beautiful. Um, there is nothing you need to change just for you to be just to be. Okay. So this is what this wants you to know. Um, I really like this. You're going to have to let me know how this resonates with you. If it has to do with, you know, a significant other, if it has to do with, you know, moving your life forward in give, doing something in the world that brings it to a, you know, uh, a healing to our world, right. That contributes to the healing of our world. And, um, maybe it's something that you have created, uh, maybe it's something that you want to contribute. <coughs> Excuse me. This card is saying that uh, that the divine is blessing that. So I'm super uh, thrilled with that. Uh, Virgo, let me know how this resonates. So this is in your past position. You might be experiencing this now. But I'm going to move into your now card. Uh, and this is ethereal touch. Ethereal touch. Take a look at that. This is beautiful. Okay, so what this what this talks about, now this is a 27 card and reduces to a 9, and that talks about humanitarianism. It talks about selflessness and also creative expression, right? And the spirit is present in your very touch at this time, and this card is reminding you of that, that you have an impact on the world around you particularly close relationships and particularly in ways that are just far more profound than maybe, you know, at first glance, you know, obvious. Okay. So the, 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 the torch of your soul that this card is saying is ethereal. It's spiritual of light and sound and it moves through the heart and really opens up pathways of possibility whether it's through love through faith through trust that would other otherwise really be impossible to, to you know to truly access so trust in the presence of the divine in your touch the physical as well as the spiritual and this really plays off the kind of that healing aspect if you're going into that or just accepting you as you are you know physically uh, you know, or spiritually. So this card guides you to accept and to embrace your healing abilities and to trust that you could feel your way through life, Virgo, by opening up your hands to receive and taking hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. Because you are truly meant to touch the world with your spirit. And that's what this card is reminding you of. Okay? You can see all this light that is going through and it's just kind of flowing. It's just really beautiful. So remember that. You know, and keep in mind that, uh, you know, that uh, with this, accepting yourself, accept, you know, having uh, the beautiful uh, spirit move through you and let you know that, uh, your spirit is wonderful that you've got your healing abilities. Uh, and, you know, that might be in a relationship that might be in yourself. It might be on a project, something that you're bringing to the world, uh, you know, which is could be yourself as well for the greater good and the healing of the world. You know, when we heal ourselves, we tend to help heal others. And I think that's one of the reasons why so many beautiful channels, you know, exist you know, whether it's on YouTube or, or anywhere else, you know, that leads to the higher good. You know, we're all here to help each other out and maybe see different perspectives sometimes about, uh, you know, by learning through another that brings us closer to greater healing, closer to spirit and all that wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful, magical stuff, <laughs> you know, all that divine stuff. So uh, anyway, that's what that is saying to you. And let me know if this resonates with you. Let's go ahead and move into your future position here. And this is really neat. This card is titled Loving All That Is. You see this beautiful woman that's just embracing that light. See how the cards so fluidly move? 
Now, this is a 22 card that reduces to a four, and the four is all about foundation. It's about, you know, struggling against limits. It's steady growth, and it's order, right? It's order. So that's what this is saying. Now, um, moving into this a little bit deeper, loving all that is, I think that, you know, first and foremost, obviously, that all starts with yourself, right? It all starts with self, I think it's really great, but this is like an awakening, you can love all that is. This is to love all of you. Love your tears, love your sadness, because they're the treatment uh, to your open heart. And you can love your numbness and fatigue because they show you how hard you've worked. And this wants to let you know that now you're in need of rest. You know, you can love your energy and your passion, even when you're you know, so far ahead of the pack and you have to wait a while for everyone else to catch up. You know, maybe it's a day or a decade or so, but because you choose not to curb your enthusiasm for anyone, you can love your anger because underneath it's, you know, the fire and desire for respect and you can, you know, love your peacefulness because it's within your heart. You really don't care much for fighting sometimes. So if there's something that is shaming you, if there is something, Virgo, that is worrying you or challenging you, sometimes it's okay just to love it, right? Now, it will make sense when it needs to, but until then, just love it, even when it hurts, because it's part of your own divine nature, Virgo. It's part of your own divine nature that is awakening, and it may just be like that painful cramp that when we're, you know, we're sitting down maybe on the floor that might not be comfortable. And if you've, your legs have been curled up for far too long, it's that painful cramp to remind you, hey, get up, you know, just, just, you know, get up and move, you know? So this, this oracle just brings a really sweet message. And what it's saying is that you're asked to love and that everything else will take care of itself. Okay. It's just what this card wants you to know right now could be that, you know, personally, of course, you yourself, you love yourself first before you can love another, right? And uh, you love yourself, so you actually move into the direction that helps you heal yourself, but also heals others if you're in that type of practice, you know, that the touch and you just, you know, accepting yourself and loving yourself. So, uh, and then, you know, you're just going to have to let me know how this resonates because I really think that's uh, quite amazing. Let's take a look at your outcome. Neat. Okay, Virgo, this is riding the cosmic wave. Riding the cosmic wave. Now, this is a 60 card, uh, which reduces to a six. Isn't this beautiful? And that is about responsibility. It's about nurturing, balance, you know, community, that type of thing. So let's just look a little bit deeper into this. And this is about... It's almost as if you're being carried by your own efforts. You know, it's funny. It's like, you ever know that, like, it's seeing where you are, where you are going cannot be attained by effort. Because, you know, the effort, the discipline prepares us for that leap. But after the leaps... We are no longer sustained by our efforts, but by the forces greater than us, the forces of love itself. So this wants you to know that you are stepping towards the edge, preparing to leap and let the cosmic wave of love just carry you forward. And you're going to be moved through grace into this new world that's awaiting for you. Now, it wants to remind you that there is a time to really work hard and really just, you know, kind of focus on the fruits of one's labors to truly manifest. And there's a time for that. There's also a time when one may be carried by the forces set in motion by the energy of life itself. And you can let go and move forward and reach farther with less, less effort. So the card calls on you and it actually is really giving you permission. It gives yourself permission to stop paddling 
and truly instead just ride the wave, give in just to let go and be moved. That's what this card is saying. So there's no need to really push, 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 push. Sometimes you have to allow that fruits of your labors just to manifest and uh, be carried by the forces that are already set in motion by that energy of life itself. It's a little unexplainable sometimes, guys. I know I've experienced that myself in many ways. And it, you know, many times it leads to just far more greater results. It's, it's setting in that ease, putting forth that ease, right? The ease of the divine. You know, not having to, to paddle upstream, but let your, you know, kind of like your canoe be carried downstream to get further. That's what this card is saying. Let's go ahead and, and take a look at some of the uh, the Oracle cards uh, and just get some quick one-liners as to what, uh, you know, any sort of uh, uh, additional uh, kind of direction that we could uh, go in that will help us, uh, you know, with this movement and this process sometimes of loving and then letting go. Uh, uh, you know, letting go and letting the uh, energy of the life force move through you and manifest as it should. So uh, I think this is pretty amazing. So I'm just going to kind of let things fall. This is kind of, I know I shuffle a little bit differently and I'm only doing it this way because I kind of want to just let things flow and see where that actually leads. I shuffled these before, but let's go, um, let's go ahead and I just want to see. Let's see what we have here. We have assurance. Oh, this is beautiful. This is about a supportive reminder. All is well. And look at this. All is well. Sometimes to go with the flow. Isn't that beautiful? Allow. Gosh. Allow, uh, allow yourself uh, to definitely be moved and give yourself permission to follow your own directions in your dreams. Allow things to unfold and flow on their own. Could we get any more uh, explanation for that? Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. And the last one here is trust. Look at this. Aren't this beautiful, you guys? Isn't this beautiful? This is like sometimes it's hard to believe that without effort that things can actually take place. This is saying trust, have faith and confidence that things will work, will turn out well. The petals are, are here. you see, I don't know if you can see this here, but the, like the petals, the petals are falling on the tree, not away from it. They're falling on the tree. Everything is falling into place to support you. Okay, this can't get any better, Virgo. Okay, I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the second half of March. And until then, namaste.